Hi Capricorn, this is your April 18th through April 24th weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. Well, I have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, the business, and your finances, and we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, subscribe, and share this video to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this week. We have the Three of Swords clarified by the Five of Cups. We have um, the Devil clarified by the Fool. We have the Ace of Swords in the potential outcome. We have the King of Swords uh, with the Sun and the Star and we also have the Nine of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius or a Leo or perhaps another Capricorn. This is a very specific story. Capricorn, it will resonate with you for sure if you just recently or perhaps not so recently broke up with somebody and you were still recovering from that breakup or from that divorce. And uh, this week uh, you're gonna finally finish that healing process. You're gonna uh, pick yourself back up, dust yourself off and uh, get out there. You know, venture out and see what's new, what's good. Um, and uh, what's good is this new person coming into your life. Um, and the person I'm talking about is the King of Swords, the first card in the potential outcome. Um, and it's kind of symbolic that we got the King of Swords in there. And the last card in the main spread right there in the middle is the Ace of Swords. And uh, you see how the King of Swords is holding up a sword? That's exactly the sword we see with the Ace of Swords. Um, most likely an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, and Aquarius in particular, because the star right next to the deck, the last card in the uh, potential outcome is the personal Aquarius card, but they could be, you know, any air sign. Um, they could have a lot of air in their chart. They could also be a Leo with the Sun card right next to the King of Swords, because the Sun is the personal Leo card. So it could be an air sign with Leo, Leo with air sign in their chart. Um, yeah, we start off with the uh, Three of Swords, clarified by the Five of Cups. So this is what happened at some point in, uh, in the past. You know, it could have been a couple of months, or it could have been a year, I don't know. The Three of Swords is a card of a devastation, it's a card of a breakup. And uh, the Five of Cups, clarifying it, is a card of somebody who uh, thinks about the past, grieves the past, uh, regrets the past, so this is what's been going on. You had either a breakup or a divorce or perhaps some other unfortunate event in your life at some point in the near past, right? But uh, here you are. The next guy that came out is the devil, and the devil is clarified by the mo the fool. The devil is your personal card, Capricorn. That's you, and it's always a good sign to have your own card in your own reading, especially your major arcana card. And uh, the devil is clarified by the fool. So this is you finally letting go of that past, finally letting go of the hurts and all those negative emotions. Right, then the, the Nine of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, all the way to your right, I think that's also you. This is a card of a single person, but most importantly, this is a card of somebody who is self-sufficient, independent, somebody who is in the spotlight, somebody who is doing good financially, uh, perhaps you're admired by many, so that's what I'm, what I'm thinking is this is you, like I said, restoring yourself to your former glory. You're finally letting go of the past and there you are, shining like a bright star. <laughs> and uh, as I already mentioned, the Ace of Swords, uh, the last card in the uh, main spread on the left, right there in the middle, is uh, a brand new beginning with this King of Swords. The Ace of Swords is a very straightforward, very direct communication. You know, this person is not going to be fooling around, they're not going to be playing around, they'll tell you straight up what they want. They want to move forward with you, they want to make you happy, they want to make all your wishes come true. And I'm not just saying that. The Sun, as I already mentioned, is the personal Leo card, but most importantly the Sun uh, is the happiest card in the deck. And the sign always reminds me of the full card, right? Because in the right upper corner of the full card we have uh, the sun and uh, we now have the actual sun card here and uh, the person in the full card and the kid in the sun card, they look kind of similar. You see how they've got their um, arms spread out and to me this is usually a gesture of a very happy person, right? And uh, the last card I came out is the, the star. The star is the personal Aquarius card or the star is a wish come true card. This is something we usually wish for or hope for for a very long time. So yeah, like I said, this is a very specific story. And if you are still recovering from um, a breakup or a divorce or some unfortunate new event, uh, Capricorn, it's time for you to let it go. And love 
is going to come to you. <laughs> so love, ha love happens when you least expect it. Right? Uh, perhaps you can go out with your friends, uh, or you can go out for a walk in the park, or go, um, I don't know, skiing if there is still snow where you live, or go to the beach, and uh, you'll meet this person this week. Alright, really happy for you Capricorn, congratulations. Capricorn, if you'd like to see the extended for this new love spread, the link is in the description box down below. In the extended, I'll do two or three more spreads. Depending on how the situation unfolds, we'll take a look at what to expect between you and this person moving forward, and we'll get you an advice for this whole situation. Capricorn, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Hangman, clarified by the Eight of Swords. Uh, we have the Three of Pentacles. We have the Page of Pentacles, and we also have the Queen of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. It kind of looks like you guys ran out of ideas of, of about what you can do together. <laughs> and uh, it's like you're in the search of, okay, so we've tried everything. We've gone hiking, we took uh, uh, ballroom, dancing classes, we took pottery classes, we took cooking classes, there's nothing left for us to do. And this week you will actually find something new, <laughs> finally. Right? And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys can have fun. Anyway, the Queen of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, that's you, Capricorn. Uh, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And the first card I came about is the Hangman and is clarified by the Eight of Swords. Both cards are talking about the same thing. The Hangman is a card of a stagnation, nothing happening. The Eight of Swords is a card of somebody who is constantly thinking about something. Right? And then we have the Three of Pentacles right next to those two cards. The Three of Pentacles is a card of collaboration. This is a card of you two doing something together. Together, right? And uh, perhaps you've already tried everything, and that's why we've got the hangman with the eight of swords, and you're like, um, we're stuck. We've already done everything. But uh, it kind of looks like you will find something, because with the page of pentacles, I think this is you guys paying for something. It's like you could be paying for another class that you'll find. Perhaps you'll start taking a, a, a language class or you will find something that uh, you'll be paying for it basically, right? It could be a subscription based or, um, you know, you could be cha-cha dancing class participants or something like that. You get the idea, right? With the Page of Pentacles, this is you paying for something. It's not going to be a lot of money because the Page of Pentacles is usually not, not that much money. So, like I said, hopefully you guys can have fun, all right? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you Capricorn this week. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent ex. We have the Ace of Cups, we have the Knight of Wands, we have the Two of Pentacles, clarified by the Six of Pentacles, and we also have the Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign, Aries, Deer, Sagittarius. Um, so you will have a dilemma, Capricorn. You do have somebody trying to get the show back on the road with you, but I kind of see why you're going to be a little bit confused. First of all, they're coming in with the Ace of Cups, but the, the actual person coming in, coming back, is the Knight of Wands. It could be a fire sign here, is there Sagittarius, but most likely um, the Knight of Wands is not a fire sign. They could be a fire sign, but most likely, even if they are a fire sign, they are who is very, somebody who is very inconsistent, somebody who is hot and cold in another real life. It could be a player, by the way, and you're going to be perplexed as to what you want to do here, right? The Ace of Cups is a genuine, authentic love offer. And uh, the Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck, this is a card of communication, so they're going to be reaching out to you. Perhaps this person is out of town and they'll just hit you up and say, hey, I'm going to be in town over the weekend, you want to get together and see what happens? You know, they could do something like that. And there you are with the Two of Pentacles, clarified by the Six of Pentacles, trying to decide what you want to do here, right? So yeah, I definitely see why you're confused. Because we've got the Ace of Cups, which is a, a loving card, really loving card, but the person is the Nine of Wands. Uh, well, it's up to you, Capricorn. If you just want to have some fun and see what happens, go ahead. I'm not here to judge. It's none of my business how you live your life. I'm just letting you know what's about to happen. right? Um, perhaps you can play it by ear and see you where, it, where it takes you, where it takes you, the two of you. Um, all right, so that's the only thing I have to say. I don't see you like rejecting this person flat out. In some, 
in some spreads I do see people rejecting other people I, but I don't see you rejecting I do see you kind of struggling with the decision so perhaps there's still something there for you all right cool let's talk about your work your business and your finances uh, Capricorn this week we have the 1001s we have the 601s we have the Emperor and we also have the chariot on the bottom of the deck you could be dealing with an Aries or uh, cancer the very first thing I thought of when I saw the spread Capricorn, um, I thought of a promotion. Yep, we got two victory cards on the ter uh, on the table: <laughs> the six of ones and the chariot. Both of those cards are victory cards, success cards, recognition cards, promotion cards. The ten of ones, the first card I came out. This is a card of a burden. This is a card of an additional responsibility. This is you working really hard, burning the midnight oil, working towards that promotion. And as a result of that, you become the emperor this week. The emperor is a figure of authority, and uh, that could also be interpreted as the end result. This is you, this is you being promoted, right? As a result of all that hard work, you're winning. You're the one being promoted here. Right? For others of you, if uh, you travel for work, perhaps you're going on a business trip this week and you're going to kill it. All right? The chariot could be you going hitting the roads and uh, the 601, this is still you uh, closing a deal or reaching some sort of a success or victory during that business trip. And as a result of that, you become the emperor. <laughs> All right, so the, yeah, this is, a, this is a victory spread. Really happy for you. Congratulations, Capricorn. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen, Capricorn, this week. Uh, we have the Queen of Swords, we have the Six of Pentacles, we have the Three of Pentacles, clarified by the Two of Cups, and we also have the World on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Uh, what you're not expecting is uh, you're establishing some sort of a partnership or an alliance with this Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. If they're not an air sign, this is somebody who is very straightforward, very direct, with a lot of experience. Right? Then the, both the Six of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles are cards of, um, you know, most likely this has to do with work, business, and finances. Perhaps you're starting a side gig with this person and eventually it will become your main source of income. Or if this is somebody you already work with or do business with, you know, you will put something on paper. Right? Or if this is somebody you work with, you will kind of establish an alliance or a partnership. Right? The Three of Pentacles is a card of collaboration right? and is clarified by the Two of Cups. When it comes to work, business and finances, the Two of Cups is my handshake card. Right? And together with the Six of Pentacles, all, this is definitely some sort of a partnership. Most likely work or business related. You know, with huge potential, because the world on the bottom of the deck, all the way to your right, this is a major kind of card, and this is my happy end card. This is one chapter of your life coming to an end, and a new, really happy, long-term chapter is about to begin. And it does feel like it's probably work, business, and finances related. And that's what you're not expecting. Alright, so yeah. Uh, Capricorn. <laughs> That's what I got for you for this reading. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And other than that, Capricorn, have an amazing week. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing, and subscribing.